Hello, my name is John Adelot, and uh, today I'm going to talk about clarity. And most of us are familiar. I have an image open right now that I've done, you know, basic adjustments in Lightroom, and it's open in Photoshop now. But uh, let me just go right back to the um, uh, Photoshop here. I'm going to go to Filter, and I'm going to open up the Camera Raw Filter just to show you something here. And here we have the clarity, okay? I can make an image softer by doing this, of course. And, uh, and then clarity, well, this one could use some clarity. I'm looking at the, uh, the rocks over here, you know, and stuff like that. And, you know, clarity is like mid-range contrast. So if I bring clarity up, I, you know, I'm always thinking I'm in danger when I get past about 10. <laughs> So on clarity, I, you know, almost anything can go to 10. And of course, 100% is uh, pretty wild looking. But I'm going to show you another way to do clarity. We were doing this before we had a clarity control. Okay. And this is, comes right out of Jeff Shuey's um, uh, book here um, on um, the digital negative. Great book. Highly recommend. Let's just start here with this layer. I have a flattened image, so I'm just going to go Command-J to make a, another layer above it. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to drop it in overlay. So which means everything that's gray is gray. If it's lighter than gray, it raises it up. Darker than gray, it lowers it down. So I dramatically increase the contrast of the image. But I'm going to go back and make the image gray, except for kind of the edges and stuff like that, by going up to Filter, Other, and going to High Pass. Okay. Now, High Pass, if I just took this and I, I, I went like to 1.089, up to about 2, what I'm doing is sharpening the image, okay? Because all the edges, the high pass filter kind of finds edges, and for 1.8 pixels on either side, it's going to lighten or darken. So it, it basically, it's, it's sharpening. But if I spread this out to a bunch of pixels, look at the mid-range contrast it comes. Now, this is obviously too much, so I'm going to take this down and I'm going to start back again and I'm going to probably just go up just a little bit till it starts to pop pretty good for me. And that's, uh, you know, a little bit too much, maybe, maybe right there. You can go a little past, but you want to find that place where it starts to really pop for you. And now these rocks uh, right over here are really showing up good and stuff. I'm going to go, okay. But remember, this is mid-range, so we want to stay in mid-range. So I'm going to go over here and just double-click the layer. It opens up our layer style. And on these top sliders, I'm going to pull it out of the white, somewhere around 200. And I'm going to, and out of the black, somewhere around, oh, maybe even 50. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and push the Alt, and I'm going to split this. Now, you can actually zoom in and look and see what's happening in different areas, okay? But, and generally this, this works most of the time, okay? Now, I'm looking up here at, at this ridge and it's a little too much there, okay? I'm looking over here and I'm kind of liking this, but let's go over here and just double click and, and go over here and take a closer look. And uh, yeah, it's a little too much there too. And like here, so I'm going back, oh, like this. And what I'm going to do is, is you can just take your opacity and you can dial it down to where you want it. And oh, that's looking pretty good. You know, pretty good. What do I got? 65%. And it looks pretty darn good. So that is another way more controllable than the slider in Lightroom or Photoshop because you have choices and you can scale it back afterwards and uh, it's um, something I do quite often just uh, in general processing I've done it for for a while now so there you go uh, clarity um, maybe clarity on steroids who knows so anyway keep on uh, keep on taking those pictures and uh, we'll catch you next time